bunny tears. What's cracking, Bunny Boilers? My name is Bunny Tears. Welcome to another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 commentary entitled Me and Music. A pretty weird title, I must admit. However, the reason for me bringing out this commentary is because I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my relationship with music and also some future projects that may be coming out depending on your feedback, which are related to music. But as always, first thing is first. This is a demolition on Raid. It was myself and Y2 Canyon, aka Tokyo Sex Whale, aka The Grand Canyon. And I'm struggling to find in my memory the last time I lost a game of demolition. When me and Canyon go into demolition, it's a disgusting sight. Bad things happen. Not even good things. I mean, you can have good games and do well, but me and Canyon actually feel bad afterwards. We have to call up people and ask for forgiveness because of how badly we raped their children. I think I'll, I'll probably leave that as it is, really. That was, that was pretty dark shit. But yeah, let's move on to the actual commentary. So, uh, you know what you're watching. Now, the commentary. Why am I bringing out this commentary? I guess the main reason why I decided to bring this out is because I have a certain part of my life that entirely revolves around music. You guys have kind of seen a flash of it. If you've been with me for a while, you will have seen my cover of uh, Flo Rida's Whistle. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a uh, annotation on screen, which will basically take you there. It's going to open in a new tab and stuff, so don't worry about that. And the annotation is going to be there now, and it's going to be... Pink! Go! 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 So yeah, that's it. Um, now when you listen to this, bear in mind, this was just for a bit of fun. Everyone gave me crazy positive feedback about it, which made me kind of wonder, uh, maybe I can do a few more of these, because you can probably tell by the way that I'm actually covering this on. It, it was just done for fun. I just did it because I could, and I put it up because I had it, and I had YouTube. So... Let me, let me know what you think about that cover, because I would honestly love to know. Is it just because it's a bit of a funny cover that you like it, or do you like it because you actually like the sound of it? You actually like it musically? Um, I would love to know that, but first, I guess I'm going to talk a little bit about my life and how it relates to music. So, I, when I was a kid, I was into a number of different musical artists. Back in the day when music actually meant something, and it actually had meaning behind it. So, back in the day, myself and my older sister, we had a VHS, a, a VHS tape, which was Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, the film. Now, if you haven't seen that, it's kind of like, it's half a dedication to his life achievements, and half an actual movie with a storyline and stuff. A lot of the videos for his songs, like Smooth Criminal, were taken from this film. So if you look up the Smooth Criminal like music video for Michael Jackson, that's actually a scene from the movie, which I thought was fucking crazy. And after watching this, I was just... I was in music. That was it. Music had taken me and there was no way out. That's, a, that's the only way of describing it. So my sister started playing guitar. Then after a while, maybe a year, she stopped. We were still in primary school at this point. So I used to take her guitar and just see if I could make some noises with it. That's pretty much all I did. I'd try to play some of my favorite songs, um, but I didn't know how to learn, so it never really worked out that amazingly. Then the first time I actually performed music was... Let me think about this. It was the first year of secondary school, I think. It might have been the second year, but I'm pretty sure it was the first year. And what happened was... Our maths teacher was into music as well. And he basically turned around and said, right, guys, here's what's happening. I am taking part in the school talent show, and I need people to do it with me. And he said, does anyone here play guitar? So two of the guys in the class put their hand up. I put my hand up kind of half and half. And he asked them, oh, yes, you guys play guitar. And I kind of went, well, I don't really, I don't play it very well, but I do sing. So he went, really? You sing? So I said, yeah. So I said, all right, stand up, give us a song. I was like, wait, wait, what, what, do what? He said, yeah, get, get to the front of the class, give us a song. So I sang, I Believe I Can Fly. That's what I sang, by R. Kelly. I went up, sang that, and then he gave me some feedback in a very Simon Cowell-esque style that made all the people in the class a bit like, who the fuck does this teacher think he is? But it meant that we did actually do the talent show together. And that was my first live performance. And it went very well. I got nothing but compliments, and I wasn't very... I don't know. I wasn't very confident at that point. So, 
the time after that when I performed, I think was at my confirmation. Now, I was brought up Catholic, so I had a confirmation ceremony. And I just played guitar for some of the hymns. So that wasn't really a performance, but I was sitting at the front and stuff like that. But that, I suppose that doesn't really count. Then, the time after that, I believe, was my aunt and uncle's wedding. Now, I was looking at this band that they had, and they were playing great songs. It was all amazing. And I just kind of wanted to perform for my aunt and uncle. So I went up to the stage and said to the guy, do you mind if I sing a song? And he said, yeah, sure. And I was like, do you mind if I use your guitar? And he was like... Yeah, sure, why not? So I got up on stage, picked up the guitar, and as soon as I did this, like, my aunt or something ran out of the room to go outside to whoever was smoking to pick up the rest of my aunts to be a bit like, Stefan's going on stage! So she ran out, and everyone came back in, and I started playing and singing. I played um, Johnny Cash's Hurt, and it probably, thinking about it now, it probably wasn't the best song choice for a wedding, but it was one of the only songs I could play well. If you haven't heard that song, again, look it up. It's Johnny Cash, Hurt. And it's an amazing but very sad song. So I don't know why I did it. But I just wanted to. And afterwards, everyone seemed to like that as well. So it was at this point I started thinking, well, maybe maybe I can do this, I guess. May maybe this is a thing I can do. So I started getting more and more confident, putting more and more effort into my guitar playing, my singing, and things like that. And it became a huge part of my life. Then, in the last year of school, secondary school. So, I did the talent show in the first year of, of secondary school with my maths teacher. And in, in the last year of secondary school, a group of the girls from the year below came around the classes and were asking people if they wanted to do the talent show. And they were saying how it was for charity and stuff like this. And I was just a bit like, I've left it so long since... I did the talent show at school. We've had one every year and I've never done it. Not since first year. So I kind of went, yeah, you know what, I will. And pretty much everyone in the class turned around and went, what? You, wait, you will? So I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I will. And then the girls w who were there were a bit like, oh. I was like, what do you mean, oh, it's a talent show. So I applied for it. You had to try out. So I went down into the, our school's basement where they were trying out, brought a guitar, and sang like six different songs to them. And again, the feedback I got there was unbelievable. I had literally a girl turn around and say, oh, looks like I'm in love with you. So I was a bit like, what the fuck? Oh, wow, okay, so this is good. So I went, I did the talent show. I got up on stage in front of, I, I don't know, maybe 70 people. There wasn't that many people there, so about 70 people with a guitar. Uh, and I just started singing and playing and I went through like a medley of songs so I did like a minute from six different songs and people seemed to love that as well it, w it was insane and then I ended up winning that talent show so it was at that point I thought right I need to do something about this now this this is this is good this makes me feel good I love doing it and people seem to like it so I might as well start doing things around that so I started practicing even more and when I went to university, I went to a television show called The X Factor, which was, I don't know, if you haven't seen it, it's basically like, what's the American version? Have they got, they've got The X Factor there as well, don't they? So yeah, it's, a t it's like a talent show on TV. And I went, I still wasn't confident enough, but I went, I tried out, the people who were there just seemed to like it a lot. And I got through all of the rounds, I just needed to get through one more round to go to the live TV thing and to the judges. Because if you didn't know, there's like five rounds before you get to go on TV. And in that last round, I was sitting there lining up, waiting to go. There was some hassle with the queues and people pushing in and shit. And I was in a terrible mood because I hadn't slept the night before. I went in with the wrong attitude, performed, and it just wasn't good enough, essentially. So I didn't get through to the TV thing, and this kind of hit, hit my confidence pretty hard as well, because I was like, right, so maybe I'm not that good. Maybe maybe people are just being nice. But I carried on anyway. I, I had access to a music studio, so I started doing that. I put this cover of Flo Rida's Whistle on YouTube, and you guys seem to love it. It's probably one of my most successful recent videos at the moment, and it's definitely the most successful like-to-dislike ratio. It hasn't got any dislikes so far, and... That just, that just blows my mind. So, I want to know, do you want to see more music? Let me know. And what kinds of music? Because I have a parody Xbox One rap 
that I want to make, but I don't know if you guys will like it. I have more covers, and I have my original songs that I've written myself. So let me know which ones you want to see the most, and I'll try to see if I can get them to you as soon as possible. Or let me know if you don't want to see any of them at all. But anyway, guys, thanks for listening. I can't wait for your feedback. And bunny out, bitches! What's cracking, bunny boys? My name is Bunny Tears.